everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell G317 gaming laptop. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to clean and repaste your laptop. If yours is running hot and it is really dusty and you want to repaste it to cool it down, this video is for you. Alright, this applies for any G317 series laptop. And first thing first, I'm going to try to keep this video really short. You want to power up the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. And I'm going to go over the tools that you're going to be using. And isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol 95% plus. We are going to be using a toothbrush, a used or new old toothbrush. We are going to need a workshop towel. So we're going to grab this workshop towel. I get one or two sheets of this one. And uh, all this uh, material that I use, the link is in my video description. So if you guys need it, and you will need a screwdriver set. For the screwdriver set, I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. These are one of the best screwdrivers out there. You're gonna be using a Phillips number one. These are S2 class steel screwdrivers, so that means they're really hardened steel. We are obviously gonna use a good thermal paste. I'm gonna be using an Arctic MX4. If you want to go overboard and a little crazy, you can go with the best one, which is a Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. Those are one of the best. But MX4 is really good for this laptop too. With all those on hand, now we're going to start on screwing and opening up. Also, you need an opening tool. If you get the pro version of the iFixit screwdriver set, you get an opening tool and tweezers and a few other stuff. But if not, just get yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable opening covers and cases all right all right once you turn off the laptop you put it upside down you're going to realize that there's a whole bunch of screws at the bottom cover we are going to remove all the screws and all the screws are the same size and height except two screws the two screws that we won't be able to remove are the two back mid ones right at the back here the reason we can't remove them entirely is because they have a c-lock on them and the screw will not come out entirely all you need to do is just twist them until you hear a click and you just want to leave it there. But we're going to leave this for the end. So we're going to start from the side. We're going to remove all except and the including the two in the middle. Also, if you guys like my content, if my content is helping you guys out, you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking the like and subscribe to the channel. It would be a great help and motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, answer your questions. I already appreciate it. There we go, once we remove all the screws except the two back, and now we're going to rotate this one, and you should hear a few clicks. Once you hear it, you got two or three clicks, and let go. Same thing here, twice, and let go. Now we're going to grab the opening tool. We're going to open up the laptop in 45 degree angle. We're going to stick the opening tool between the top and the bottom cover, just like that, about two or three millimeters. And we're going to twist it back. Once I hear a click, I'm going to let go. Go a little more to the left or right side. And you want to work yourself through just one or two centimeters away from each other. Work yourself to the left and the right side, all the way to the back corner. Do the same thing on the other side by the HDMI port. Just work yourself. Make sure you do those clicks. There we have it. Now the cover actually is coming out pretty easy. So you want to close it down and you want to lift it up, wiggle it around, and the cover should come out. Now this is really funny and like, I have no idea why, but you're going to see it. So the reason they have a mesh, dust mesh, is to filter the dust. So normally the dust mesh should be over the fan to filter the dust. I see here there's no dust mesh and see the fan there's no dust mesh. And when I rotate over they even cut through the dust mesh here so the fan doesn't breathe through the dust, dust mesh. I have no idea why. And there's no point having a dust mesh here when the air is sucking through here. So what's the point of having a dust mesh right there? But anyhow, so you can go ahead and clean up this part or whatever part that you see a dust. Blow some dry air. And those sea lock that I was talking about is right here. You can see the sea lock right on the neck of the, the screws. Down here, we're going to see the two fans. This is a brand new, pretty much they haven't used it, so it's 
very clean yours might be really dusty fan so we're gonna clean this ones up but before we do anything we're gonna disconnect the battery to disconnect the battery you want to pull this jack backward so put your fingers right at the corner on the black side and then pull it towards the battery make sure that you disconnect this connector right there now we first we're gonna remove this flex cable that is for the LCD just untangle it from around the fan bring it to one side we're gonna grab a tweezer a curved tweezers that should be applied with the UI fixed screwdriver set we're gonna unhook the jack for the fan we don't want to pull on the cables never pull on the cables on the fan jacks those are really fragile put your fingernails at the side of this connector and pull them away and the jack should get released right there same thing in here use your fingernails or use a tweezer just pull them back and you will release the connectors now let's go ahead and remove the two screws for the fan and two screws for the other fan remove those four screws there we have it let's try to lift up the fan gently bring it up now you can take this outside use a toothbrush clean it up blow some dry air through here and put it in there same thing with this one just slide it out clean it out now we are left over with the heat sink these are four screws for the GPU and four screws for the CPU. There we go, remove the four screws. The screws for the CPU, there's a C lock on them, so you just have to loose them up. And then you hear a click sound. All right, once you remove the screws for the GPU, now you want to pick up from the center you don't want to pick up because you have to put your finger right at the board in here so you don't break the board just crack those and lift it up and there we have it you do not need to remove the thermal pads at all they are absolutely not necessary to remove the thermal pads because you are not going to overclock and even on the bios on this one is not overclockable the vrams vrams don't need to cool down if they're not overclocked and the the power management in whatever the thermal pad it has is all good to go for many many years but if you want to replace them thermal pads for the components here it's about 0.3 millimeters and 0.2 millimeters is for the pads which is uh, for the VRAMs now we're going to go for the main one which is cleaning the CPU and repasting we're going to clean up and put some alcohol on the Towel, and we're gonna gently rub over the GPU. And uh, gently, we're gonna go in a circular motion and leave it there. And same thing for the CPU. Remove the excess. Flip this one upside down, inside out. And clean up the CPU and use the dry part to do a second pass. Make sure it's absolutely nicely clean. All right, now we're gonna clean up the heat sink thermal pad paste right there. So clean up that one. There we have it. Now all we need to do put the new uh, thermal paste. So we're gonna put a one drop on the GPU, fair amount, and a line on the CPU. Just do a tiny line. And that should be more than enough. All right, and one last part would be to clean up the air ducts right here with a toothbrush, clean them nicely. Bring it over, align it straight over. Make sure, once you put it down, do not lift it up, otherwise you have to repaste. Make sure once you put it down, don't lift it up to double check. Put it down straight and don't move. First, you start with the CPU, put one screw on the corner. Make sure you zigzag through here. You can do two, one, three, four, or one, two, three, four. There's a number on them. As long as you X cross screw them, you're fine. So there's the CPU. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing on a GPU. Cross screw them always. Put one in the corner. And there we have it. And one of the last thing down here would be to grab the fans. Bring it down, align it nicely on top, make sure the cable stays over. 
and now bring it down with a tweezer you can help it around to push the jack connector right in, the fan connector right in there and pinch it right in there run the cable for the flex cable Leave it in there. Grab the other fan. Uh, before I put it down, um, it's easier for me to push down the connector in there and then bring it over. And put down this corner under the heatsink and then put the three screws on top of each fan. Alright, once you put the screws right in there, now the last thing would be to just grab the connector for the battery bring it down evenly from the back towards the connector and squeeze it right in there and that should be all double check make sure there's no cable on the way make sure it's nicely tucked in grab the bottom case make sure you put the hdmi connector all this case side down first in 45 degree angle just scoop it right underneath and hold it down let go of the other side and pin push it down make sure you don't click you don't want to push it on the back side Push down on the front end, on the side, go to the other corner. Now you want to first tighten up the screws at the back power here. So make sure you tighten up nicely. And one last thing will be just push between them down. And the last thing down here would be to just putting up the bottom screws all around the, on the bottom case. And again, I'm going to power on the laptop after doing this, putting the screws. For those people that they have a trust issue, they keep telling me, why don't I turn on the laptop after I do the servicing? So just bear with me. Let me put the screws and we're going to power on and check it out. All right. Once you open up the laptop and you see a space gap in here, you just want to pinch them together. And you're going to hear those clicks. That's the top bottom cover getting back together. You see on the side in here, I want to just pinch them together nicely. And that's it. So let's go ahead power it on. And I see the backlight already showing. Uh, we're going to wait a second. And there we have the logo for the, and their logo. And within a few seconds more, and we should be in a desktop with no issues. As always, if you guys have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. And I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. And if you guys want to support the channel, I'll greatly appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.